This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today, we're gonna talk about landlords, bed bugs, cockroaches, other types of bugs, and how you may be able to get your landlord to pay for your bed bug or your cockroach elimination. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. Now first, the first thing I wanna say before I get into any of this, is I want to explain that this is, I'm not a lawyer, I didn't go to law school, I'm only telling you specific instances that I know of where people were able to get their pest control paid for by their landlord and how they were able to do it. So, like I said, again, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you can get more in-depth videos like this one you know information about bugs and pest control and all the good stuff that we talk about here don't forget every thursday night i live stream i get on and talk to people about their bug problems and we go over all kinds of you know bed bug issues cockroaches termites rats mice you know you name it we talk about it i know it's called the bed bug show that's what everybody usually talks to me about but don't hesitate to ask me any other questions that you might have about pest control. That's what we go over, that's what we talk about, and usually it's after 9 o'clock Thursday nights until I get too tired to talk. So, meet me up there and we'll talk. So, let's see. Landlords. So, you live in an apartment and let's say you move in, you didn't have bed bugs before you moved into this apartment. But when you move in, you realize the apartment's infested with bed bugs. This is probably the easiest way to get your landlord to pay for the bed bug treatment because you didn't have bed bugs, you didn't bring bed bugs in, it wasn't your fault. But here's the kicker, here's the problem, is a lot of these landlords or property managers, typically it's a property manager that you deal with, they usually will say, uh, you can't prove you didn't bring them in, the apartment didn't have bed bugs, because they're gonna deny, 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 deny the whole time. They're not gonna admit that you know the apartment had bed bugs in the first place. They're never gonna do that. Your burden of proof is to prove that you didn't infest the apartment with bed bugs. It wasn't you. Know, it, wasn't you. it was there either from a neighboring unit or it was from a uh, you know existing tenant that before you moved in basically is where they came from so how do you do that so number one what you have to do is you need to find you an honest exterminator this is this is really important um, you may have to pay some money you know to have a guy come in and inspect your apartment um, but I've done this before. So I've gone in, I've inspected homes, I've inspected apartments. When you do bed bug work like me, and you're in it all the time, and you know what to look for, you know what people are going to have, you know the signs to tell how long they've had an infestation, you can tell how, uh, you know, where the infestation started, you can tell, you know, all these things you can absolutely tell. But it's important to get this done immediately. As soon as you realize the first itchy spot or bed bug or whatever, you want to make sure that you get on the phone and start calling around and getting exterminators and stuff to come out and take a look at your property. The reason you do it quickly is because the longer you wait, the harder it is to tell, from my perspective, it harder, the harder it is going to be for someone like me to be able to tell how long you've had the bed bug infestation. And let me explain. So what happens is bed bugs crawl up on your bed frame. 
okay? And then they start biting you, and then they start pooping everywhere, okay? They'll use the bathroom on your mattress. They'll use the bathroom on your box spring. They'll use the bathroom on your bed frame, and it'll start absorbing into the wood or getting on the metal or whatever. You know, that's what bed bugs do. And then it's more difficult to tell how long you've had bed bugs. But if you go into a house and you're an inspector like me, and you're inspecting for bed bugs, you're, you're trying to find the problem, and you find signs of bed bugs, but primarily you know, in the room, not really on the furniture, uh, because you're there maybe three or four days after someone moves in, the bed bugs have not been able to actually cause too much of a mess. They haven't been able to reproduce, they haven't been able to lay eggs all over the bed frame or infest the bed frame. But if you wait two or three months to call your exterminator, well then it's not, it's gonna look like you had bed bugs anyway, so it won't help you at all. You wanna get your exterminator in as soon as possible. Get them in there, get them looking for bed bugs, and make sure that you can get a report from them explaining you know, how long it's been since you had the bed bug problem. All right, so that's important. Now, you don't always have to do this. You can actually skip the exterminator step completely. And let me tell you how to do this. This is, this is probably the, the one way that I was, I was actually surprised, and that's why I'm making this video, because I was actually surprised. Um, so Virginia, I'm gonna use Virginia state law. Some state laws actually require that landlords kill bed bugs. Um, it depends on what state. I am not, you know, like I said, my lawyer, I don't know law, I don't study law, I don't study different state laws, um, so I don't know, so don't ask me, I don't know, <laughs> uh, other than Virginia, I don't know any other states and, and, and what they require, but some states do. Some states absolutely require the, bed, the exterminator's job, I mean, I'm sorry, the landlord's job is to keep the bed bugs out of the apartment or the home, the single family home or whatever that you're renting to ensure that it is an actual livable space, that they don't, they don't consider bed bugs or roaches something that you can live with. And the exterminator is required to come in and spray the, the problem and kill the bugs and keep you, you know, happy, all right? But Virginia is not one of those states. So Virginia does not require landlords to kill bed bugs. But here's the way people are getting their bed bug treatments paid for. In Virginia, it is the landlord's, it's the landlord's uh, job to, if they're going to rent to you and they're going to rent you a house or they're going to rent you an apartment, it is their job to ensure that your apartment or your home is livable. Now, what does that mean? So this is, this, is, this is where Virginia is kind of a gray area and you may end up having to go to court, but you may not. You may just have to threaten, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. Um, but HUD actually requires that bed bugs are eliminated. That's one of the things they require. And they're like a federal or whatever program that helps people get places rented and stuff, help with disability. They help with, you know, retired veterans and stuff like that. And so they require that the bed bugs are eliminated. So that's, it, you won't even be able to receive rent through HUD uh, as a landlord if you don't make sure the property doesn't have bugs and stuff in it. So that's one, that's one thing. Look and see who you're renting from and make sure, uh, you know, and you should know that, you'll know that. But if your state says, you know, like Virginia, and they don't, they don't really have a specific law stating that, you know, exterminators are, are need to come in and eliminate the bed bug issue. And a lot of it is, they'll, they'll write out say, you know, you have to hire an exterminator. You, the landlord can't come in and spray themselves because they don't know what they're doing. They have to hire a professional. And so um, look into your law, look into your state law. It's not very hard to find it. The way I found it was I just searched Virginia bed bug laws and that's how it came up for me in the Google search engine. So 
you can you can search it that way or DuckDuckGo or whatever you know search engine Bing whatever one you want to use those are the ones that you know that's the kind of phrasing you want to kind of look up so you want to look like Ohio if you live in Ohio uh, you know bed bug laws or uh, rental laws or renters rights you can look up renters rights bed bugs Ohio or renters rights bed bugs Washington State or you know wherever you happen to live just you know use those keywords and you can find exactly what the law is around bed bugs but if your state does not have a bed bug law in place then you need to look into the uh, livable laws and so if if you know they're they're supplying you with a house they're supplying you with a rentable space that you're supposed to be able to come in and live in bring your children bring your you know your pets if it's pet friendly or whatever and y'all are supposed to be able to rent there and be you know taken care of in this house it's not it's not your fault that the place has bugs even if it is your fault the house still has to be uh there has to be a level of care taken on the house let me give you another example of a livable space so if you have a leaky pipe or you have a water heater that's not quite working right or an appliance that's gone bad since you live there they're required to come in and fix that stuff you know if you have a leaky roof you know they have to come in they have to fix that because that's required by state law in order to have a livable space otherwise they won't be able to rent their house out anymore and so what you do is you use those laws and you say look these bed bugs are making it impossible for me to live here or these cockroaches are making it impossible for me to live here it's not safe for my mental health it's not safe for my physical health i need these eliminated living in your house is causing health concerns and if you're under lease well they're required to fulfill their lease and that is making sure you have a nice place to live that's a healthy place to live a place you can raise your children and not have to worry about you know symptoms like roaches are the leading cause of copd and asthma in rental houses in low-income housing um and so that's something you have to eliminate bed bugs cause problems with anemia they cause problems mentally with your mental health i mean if you've ever had them you know they'll drive you crazy they're absolutely a horrible thing and there's more and more compassion being shown towards people with bed bug problems so if you do end up having to go to court a lot of times the judge is going to rule in the renter's favor because it's not a livable space and if you can prove it's not a livable space then you know be prepared be prepared for condemned property and if the property is condemned by the state well then the landlord can't rent it and you can't live there and you'll have to find a new place to rent but you know that's not very likely to happen it's going to cost the landlord or the renter uh, the property manager or whatever it's going to cost them more money to have to condemn the property because then they're not going to make any rent money at all and they're going to have to go in and pay to repair the issue anyway so they still have to pay to kill the bed bugs in order to rent it to someone else if it's condemned so they're going to more than likely agree to take care of your bed bug problem and then you won't have bed bugs anymore so hopefully this video has helped people that are having problems with property managers landlords it's probably not going to make a lot of landlords very happy that i'm sharing this information with you but you know truthfully if someone lived in my house and it's my house you know if i have house guests and i mean my house guests aren't paying to be there but i want to make sure they have a nice place to live while they're there with me um, if and, and it goes the same if, if I had a house that I didn't live in and yet I still rented it out I would want to make sure my house guests even if they're paying me it's my house I want to take care of my house I want to take care of the property that I rent to people and that just is the way you should be you should be that way towards people and if your landlord is not taking better care of you you might ought to just look into moving somewhere else but if you just don't have that option Hopefully, this is an option for you, and it can help you um, in a bad situation. So, uh, if you like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And leave me a comment below. Let people know if you're having issues with your property managers or your landlords, and you're dealing with bed bug issues or even cockroaches or fleas or whatever issue you're dealing with, 
let me know. I, I'm actually interested to see if anyone was able to use any of my advice and actually, uh, you know, get their property paid for. Or if you live in a state where the landlords are liable and are responsible to take care of this kind of problem, then let me know because there are people that don't know about these loopholes and these different ways to get their bed bugs taken care of. And if you know, you could help potentially hundreds of people. So, like I said, like the video, subscribe. Don't forget, ring the notification bell if you haven't already so you can get more real good content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a really great day. I appreciate it. And thanks a lot. Bye.